and welcome to sampling. So the idea here is uh, when we go to do a statistical study, we usually cannot reach the entire population. And so instead we have to pick just a smaller sample from the population. So when we do a statistical study, We usually cannot reach the entire population. So instead, we pick a sample. from the population. And then we hope that the sample is a good representation of the population. So the question is, how should we pick a sample? So the goal when we go about picking a sample again is to pick a sample that has sort of as good a chance of any as of being representative of the population. So the goal is to pick a sample that has a good chance of being representative of the population. Um, and then once we have that sample, we hope it's a good representative representation of the population, then we can generalize the sample results to the population. So we then generalize the sample results to the population. So one of the huge things that we want to do when we are picking a sample is we want to do our best to avoid bias. So Bias in terms of sampling uh, basically is uh, a sampling technique is biased if the way we go about picking our sample um, prioritizes some groups over others. So a sampling technique is biased if the way we pick the sample prioritizes
some people from the population over others. So for example, If the goal is to study um, if the goal is to study people who live in the Bay Area, and we draw our sample from the phone book. Or multiple phone books. then this sample technique will only reach people who have num phone numbers listed in the phone book. So this way of sampling will only reach people who have phone numbers listed in the phone book. And everybody else will be left out. So uh, this is one form of bias where someone not thinking if they have a listed phone number themselves may not realize how many people are left out um, just by picking their sample out of the phone book. Um, so when we go to uh, pick a sample, the goal is to create as little bias as possible. So our technique should be as unbiased as possible. So when picking a sample, we want our sampling method or sampling technique to be as unbiased as possible. So in the next two videos, we will look at um, what are some bad sampling techniques and how we go about finding, uh, finding a sample in a good way.